Imagine stepping into a pitch black tunnel, silent, ancient, untouched for billions of years, and it's not on Earth, it's on the moon. And now imagine, you're not just visiting, you're moving in. Welcome to the Lunar Lava Tubes, giant underground tunnels that could change the future of human space exploration. These mysterious caves may be the key to surviving and thriving on the moon. But what secrets do they really hold? And why is the world, especially China, racing to explore them? Fifteen years ago, a Japanese probe orbiting the moon captured an image that changed everything. Amid a sea of craters, it spotted something different, a strange dark pit. At first, it looked like just another crater. But this wasn't a crater. It was a hole, a deep one, leading into the moon's interior. Since then, we found over 200 of these pits scattered across the lunar surface. Some scientists believe these holes are entrances to massive underground lava tubes, ancient tunnels formed by flowing lava billions of years ago. The implication's enormous. To understand what these tunnels are, we have to go back in time. Billions of years ago, the moon was geologically active. Lava spilled across its surface, carving glowing rivers of molten rock. As these rivers cooled, their outer shells hardened into crusts, while the lava underneath continued to flow. When the flow stopped, it left behind giant hollow tunnels. Lava tubes. On Earth, we see them in places like Hawaii and Iceland. But on the moon, where gravity is just one-sixth of Earth's, these tubes can grow massive, some over a kilometer wide. Over time, parts of these tunnels collapse, forming the deep pits we see today. These holes may just be doorways into enormous underground worlds. But why is everyone so excited about these caves? Simple. The moon's surface is brutal. Temperatures swing from 250 degrees Fahrenheit during the day to negative 200 degrees Fahrenheit at night. There's no atmosphere to shield against deadly radiation or constant micrometeorite impacts. Lunar lava tubes, on the other hand, offer natural shelter. Thick basalt ceilings could block radiation. The underground environment stays stable, about 63 degrees Fahrenheit inside some of the deeper tubes. That's right. While the surface turns into an oven or a freezer, the inside of a lava tube feels like room temperature. These caves could serve as ready-made bunkers. No need to build everything from scratch. That's why global space agencies are rushing to explore them. China in particular has made bold moves. Its Chang'e lunar missions have delivered impressive results, and now it aims to land humans on the moon by 2030. But landing isn't the end goal. Settlement is. And among China's potential landing sites? The mysterious holes in Mare Tranquilitatis. Meanwhile, the U.S. is advancing with Artemis. Private companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are developing reusable rockets to bring costs down and turn the moon into a hub for deeper space travel. But before anyone can build bases inside these tubes, we have to explore them. And that's no small feat. These are vertical pits hundreds of feet deep. Sending humans in blindly would be dangerous and possibly deadly. So engineers are designing robotic explorers for the job. NASA's Duaxel rover is one of the most promising. It splits into two parts. One anchors at the edge while the other lowers into the pit using a tether. There's also Daedalus, a sphere-shaped robot built by researchers in Germany. It rolls and scans cave walls with LiDAR creating detailed 3D maps. But the most futuristic, Space Hopper from ETH Zurich, a robot that bounces like a frog across the moon's surface and into craters. Once we understand the layout and safety of these caves, we can think about building inside them. Some of these tubes are so large they could house entire city blocks. With the basalt roof as protection, we could pressurize the inside and create breathable air. A true Earth-like habitat, hidden beneath the moon's surface. Growing food? 
totally possible. The stable temperature inside means hydroponics could thrive. That means less need for resupply missions from Earth. These caves may offer the foundation for self-sustaining lunar colonies. But the story doesn't end on the moon. These tunnels may also hide resources critical to our future. One of them is helium-3, a rare isotope that could power clean fusion reactors. Another? Water ice, a source of both drinking water and fuel. Hydrogen and oxygen could be extracted to make rocket propellant. If we can mine these caves, the moon becomes a refueling station and a launch pad to Mars. And that's where geopolitics kicks in. Whoever controls the moon's resources might dominate the next frontier of power. While private companies in the West push fast and cheap, China's playing a long game. With massive state funding and strict planning, China is building toward permanent lunar presence, with lava tubes potentially at the heart of it all. And it's not just space where China is digging deep. On Earth, China is drilling one of the deepest holes ever attempted, possibly to study Earth's crust or for strategic resources. From the deepest caves on Earth to the darkest pits on the moon, China is reaching further, downward and upward. But here's a poetic twist in the tale. Thousands of years ago, early humans sought shelter in caves. They offered protection, warmth, and safety from predators. Now, as we look to live beyond Earth, we're drawn back to caves once again. Only this time, they're not made of limestone. They're carved in ancient lunar rock. The moon's lava tubes could become humanity's next sanctuary, a home away from home. We stand at the edge of a new era, a time when living on another world is no longer just science fiction. The moon's strange ancient tunnels may hold the key to that dream. From Tokyo's orbital photos to NASA's gravity maps. From China's long-term missions to hopping robots exploring dark caves. Every step takes us closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. The question now isn't if we'll go, it's where we'll build. And who will get there first? The moon is calling. Will we answer? Like this journey into the moon's hidden tunnels? Subscribe for more deep dives into the frontiers of science and space. Comment below. Would you live inside a moon cave?